All right, we're back. We're on page three of notes 22 of Calc AB, and now we're going to talk about a radial density function. So radial density functions, uh, I think if no one ever explains it to you, you might struggle a little bit with it. But once you get the logic of it, not bad at all. So uh, what we want to do is we're just going to look at a problem and see how it relates. So a city, excuse me, built around a circular lake that has a radius of one mile. All right, so what's our lake? This is our lake, right in here. This is our lake. Um, the population density of the city is F of R, R kind of a radius, I think. Um, people per square mile, so it's a density function, where R is the distance from the center of the lake in miles. Okay, so the radius of the lake is one mile. That's an enormous lake, uh, but that's fine, whatever. Uh, I can't even imagine a lake that big, but um, it's like two, two miles in diameter, like it's crazy. Also, is it man-made? Why is it a circle? But whatever. Uh, develop a definite integral whose value gives the number of people who live within one mile of the lake. Okay, so the lake itself has a radius of one mile, and then we wanna know all the people who live within another one mile of the lake. All right. I think, I think we can do this. So F of R is people per square mile. R is the distance from the center of the lake. So F of R, in theory, between zero and one, because that's the center, the distance to the center, and the lake is one mile radius. From zero to one, I think that F of R should just be zero. And then F of R really kicks in when we get to one, and then keeps being really useful until we get to two. So I think one to two is gonna be kind of an important thing here, kind of a boundary type deal. But let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this picture as it relates to this picture, right? So I went through and I color coded things, kind of, I tried to. It took, it took longer than you might guess. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, let's see, we have this, this is R, right? So this will be R. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some delta Rs, right? Let's cut it up. So uh, this will be a delta R, a delta R, a delta R, a delta R, and a delta R. So we got a lot of delta Rs. We cut up our radius into little pieces. So each of these down here is a delta R. So delta R, delta R, delta R, delta R, and delta r. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to figure out how many people live in each of these little rings. So to do that, I'm gonna need to know like an r sub i. Um, so what is r sub i gonna be? Well, this starts at one and ends at two. So I think my r sub i is gonna be one plus I delta R. I think that's going to be fine. Um, and then what I want to do is delta R. Well, what's delta R? Delta R is I'm going from, uh, from one to two and I'm just cutting it up, right? So delta R is going to be uh, two minus one divided by N, so one over N. Okay, so then r sub i is gonna be one plus i over n. All right, I think, I think we're good to go. I think that this makes sense so far, right? So it's like we have an r axis and uh, we're, we're interested from one to two. And so we cut it up into n equal slices. We start at one, one plus i. Done. That all makes sense to me. So now, what is kind of like the area of this? Right? Because if I can find the area of that, that'll be in miles squared. And if I multiply that by people per mile squared, I'll get people. So what we do is actually kind of interesting. We are going to slice, like make your cuts along here, and then unroll. Right? And if you unroll this, you get something that looks like this. And then the question becomes, well, what, what's this distance? And then for the next one, what's this distance? And then what's this, and so on, right? Well, if you take them and you cut them, 
this distance actually ends up being the circumference, 2 pi r sub i. So we can use a, a left Riemann sum, a right Riemann sum, whatever. We know that if we go to infinity, it doesn't really make a difference. So we're just going to say 2 pi r sub i. We're not going to address, we're using a right Riemann sum. Uh, I always use right Riemann sums. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of doesn't really matter. So the area of each of these strips, area of ith strip is going to be uh, the circumference, which is 2 pi r sub i, which ended up being, you know, the, the long part of our kind of rectangles here. So that's a circumference, 2 pi r sub i, and then times delta r. And this should be in miles squared. So then the people per strip is going to be 2 pi r sub i delta r times f of r sub i. And then the total approximate, I don't know where I'm supposed to be doing this, but I'm doing it here. 1 to n, 2 pi r sub i. I'm going to rearrange it a little bit because when we take the limit, you know, we want it to look good. Okay, so then the total exact should be the limit as n approaches infinity of this thing. I'm gonna copy and paste. There's, I love developing Riemann sums. Just the logic of it, so good. It's gonna be the integral time from one to two. So where's one and two coming from? R zero is one and Rn is one plus one is two. So the integral from one to two, two pi, R sub i becomes R, F of R, dr. But you'll probably see it written as two pi, the integral from one to two, R, F of R, dr. Look at that, that's pretty interesting. So this one, it's Riemann sum, you can develop this idea pretty easily. Um, it's pretty straightforward, I guess I should say. I don't know that it's necessarily easy, but the key is take your circles and cut them and turn them into rectangles and turn it into a Riemann sum, which really just wants to deal with rectangles. Um, so that's how you can deal with it. Let's take a look at what the multiple choice options were uh, and see what we can figure out that's wrong. So this one, this one's close. Uh, I would say this, zero, to one is in the lake. So that's that's where that went wrong, no matter what, right? I mean, so you would have uh, R is in miles, DR is in miles, F of R is people per square mile. Like the units work out, but then uh, you're finding people in the lake. This, I don't know what you think you're doing. Uh, this would, I, I, don't, I don't know. Some of the wrong answers here are like really hard to work out. Like. You're adding one to the density. So, I mean, like, if you can't figure out why you're doing that, you probably shouldn't be doing it. And I don't know why you're doing it. And also, all of these think that's like a super good thing to do. Uh, you're also in the lake. So that's out. Uh, this, this, this is a combination of all the wrong things. Uh, and then this one, at least your bounds are right, but you're still adding one to the density. And I don't know why you would think you're doing that. And also like you kind of, if you, so if you continue the logic of this, two pi one to two of R dr plus two pi one to two of R F of R dr. It's like, if this had the right answer, but then uh, this is gonna be people, this is people, no, this is miles, and this is miles. So you're just adding like a miles squared, like you're, you're taking a people and adding miles squared to it, like area. I don't know. Sometimes the logic of the wrong answer is really hard to work out. But the right answer, take, take a look at this again, work through the logic again, and just like let it make sense to you because it does. You just have to like see that the geometry works out. So I'm gonna end this video here. I will come back in the next one and uh, we got one more page in these notes. 
It's not really a big topic, but it comes up in the multiple choice sometimes. It could definitely come up in the free response where you have to like develop your own Riemann sum and go from there. That was on the BC exam one year for sure. Um, so anyway, uh, stop this here. See you in the next one.